But now we're going to turn to this row between journalists and the mayor in Bristol that has been rumbling on this month. Let me play you a clip from a press conference last week. The mayor had just got back from giving a TED talk in Canada and a reporter was keen to ask him about it. I wondered firstly if you saw the irony in flying so far for a talk on climate change and secondly why you couldn't use Zoom instead. Okay, so you like the talk. What did you think of the argument I made in it? Yeah, I thought it was very interesting, but I just wondered about the irony Great. of flying right. so far. Right. Okay. So let's work through this. Do you know what the fundamental argument I made in the episode talk was? Sure, sorry, I thought we were asking you questions rather than the other. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to see if we're on the same ground. So that's the Bristol Mayor Marvin Rees and local democracy reporter Alex Seabrook, known as an LDR. That exchange then continued for a while and remained as tense, I've got to say. And then the press officer got involved. And on that topic then of getting the investment. Um, Alex, may I just ask a question, if I may? Um, just in terms of, sorry, your role as an LDR. So from my understanding, it would be to, you know, report and provide impartial coverage um, regarding sort of the regular workings of local authorities and public sector bodies. And so I suppose my question is that Marvin was fully funded by TED. Um, to attend this I, conference. So I couldn't quite understand what, what the role as an LDR would be in, in asking those questions. Now that apparent suggestion from the press officer that the local democracy reporter shouldn't be asking such questions of the mayor has got the trade up in arms. Local newspapers, broadcasters and the BBC have all since said they are boycotting the Bristol mayor's press briefings in solidarity with the reporter who says they've been banned from attending them. But a Bristol City Council spokesperson gave us a statement which they said it said it's completely false that uh, the local democracy reporters have been banned. All mainstream local media outlets are invited to the mayor's media briefings. There's been a long standing mutual agreement they say between the mayor's office and the bristol post to sponsor the local democracy reporter in bristol about personnel attending press conferences whenever they're announced and held and that ldrs would not be sent due to the narrow definition of their role as an impartial service so they're saying they never did go to these uh, briefings um, i'm taskia head of external comms for the council nice to see um some new faces as well questions i don't yeah, know i'm on right. Yeah, if I may, if no one else would step in. I'm Arvin Adam here. Uh, cool. um, just quickly, Adam, you didn't have, any, have anything else you wanted to clarify or check? I think that's pretty comprehensive. <laughs> Adam, would you have any questions? Uh, firstly, how do I unmute? I think. <laughs> Adam, would you like to ask a question? Sure, yeah. Hi, Marvin. Hi, everybody. Adam, do you have a question? Hi, thanks, Jessica. Hi, Marvin. Hi, everybody. Yeah, Adam. Hi, I'm Marvin. Amanda, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, no, thank you. I've... Can I just check if you can hear me, by the way? Yeah, I can hear you yeah, loud great. and clear. Yeah. yeah, Adam, now we can hear you. Do you want to go for it? Yeah, before it goes again. Yeah. Hi, sorry about that. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Adam. Um, and other Adam? Other Adam here. Hi, I'm Marvin. Hi, everybody. Adam. Hi, Marvin. <laughs> well, it was me. Yeah, hi. Sorry, I missed the beginning. I didn't realise that it um, started early. Um, More questions from anyone? Adam? Yeah, go Adam, ahead. Adam, I got my sweater for you on, on for you today. Special. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, Amanda, would you like to go next? I'll go next. Thanks, Sophie. Alex Seabrook is a new Bristol LDR. Um, hi, Dad. Yes, Jim. Yeah, I've got two if that's okay.